Hello, I wanted to briefly talk you through um, an application which uh, allows users to, a mobile application which allows users to go offline uh, and to edit offline. Um, let's just work, walk through what you're looking at on the screen here. This is actually uh, an application we've just launched into, it's a cross-platform application. It's in the Android market at the moment, it's about to be launched in the uh, Apple market as well. It's written in mobile flex. Um, this is actually uh, an ArcGIS online map. So we've published a map here. Um, this is actually uh, of Beirut. Uh, this is uh, we, we we kept it on Beirut because uh, uh, Mansour Ezri is, uh, is is from Lebanon and uh, um, he's been a massive help uh, in in building uh, this application. So we wanted to to do this for Mansour. Anyway, this is Beirut. We've uh, we've taken a base map. And we've added some shape files over the top of that. So this is simply um, this is running on an Android um, plat a tablet as well. I should add. Um, this is just simply an application which uh, um, is is pulling web maps uh, from uh, from um, ArcGIS.com, as you can see, and uh, you can interact with uh, the various features there, and you can get the typical pop up, and you can zoom to it. So the kind of things you're used to seeing actually in ArcGIS Online. Um, but this is actually on a on a mobile application, as I say, that we've built. Um, so within this within this world, we've actually got widgets. So I'm not going to walk you through the application itself. We've done other videos on that, but we've built a framework which allows us just to simply drop widgets in. We've got a couple of buttons here. One's edit, and one's offline, and they're what that's what we're going to talk about. Um, so let's just talk about the offline piece now. Uh, this any any offline work you're going to do is going to is going to need you to store or users to store data actually on the device itself. So that necessitates actually downloading a couple of things. Um, the first thing is a TPK. So you'll have to open ArcMap again. We've got we've got uh, descriptions of this in other videos, so I'm not going to walk through it here. But um, you can actually take in ArcMap. You can take your ArcGISOnline.com um, web maps that you've published and generate TPKs of them. Now what you're going to generate there is a base map and you'll, you'll probably include the dynamic map layers as well that are included in there. So that's just going to be the backdrop to anything offline that you've got. It's not interactive. Let me underline that. It's not in, going to be interactive. It gives you the reference and the, and the background imagery. What will be interactive is the feature layers. So when I just tapped on, on that feature there, um, that pop-up, that we were actually interacting with a feature layer there. We need to download those feature layers. So what we're going to do here actually is we're we're going to if I can get rid of that pop up. Um, we're actually going to download the feature layers to the device. Now I've already done the TPK, so I'm not going to walk through that. But simply the the two simple things that users would need to do is to generate a TPK, make it available on a website. We've got a link there to it. You click the download button that'll actually download the TPK to the mobile device itself. And you hit the feature, hitting the feature layer source will actually grab the feature layers that overlay this map and also store them on the device. So, those are the two steps that users need to do before they go offline. Let's just close that. Okay, I'm going to walk through going offline on this device. So, let's close that down. Let's go under settings. We're going to go airline mode, which takes us offline. Good. Let's go back, open up the application again. Now you're going to see a difference here. There. What we've done here is when we generated our TPK of what you were just looking at, we actually made the features a different color just to show that they are different. Now you can see this is fully interactive. We are offline, so we can zoom in. So it's actually stored um, a pyramid of tiles here. Um, now, if I tap on a feature here, it'll zoom in, but note, there's no interactivity there. This is just the base map. Um, so, let us add, and, and there isn't actually any Im any satellite image or anything behind that. There's licensing things that uh, you would need to t discuss with Esri about adding that hit there. Um, so, in this case, all we've taken are, are, are the layers that we've overlaid on the map, um, and we've just used those as our base map uh, tiles. So let's now go edit. Now what we've done here is um, we've we've introduced a, an edit widget, and I'm just going to go full extent in the background so you can see. What we've done here is we've we've created this edit widget. Now when we tap one of these checkboxes here, and the names by the side 
are, are incorrect at the minute. They, they should read the actual layers that we've got um, listed on, on, on the map here. But uh, what we're going to do first is simply hit this feature, this middle one. Now what you can see is two things happened. We got the edit panel at the bottom. We also got grayed in there those features added. So let's just see if they're interactive. And yes they are. Let me just minimize that so you can see that. So what we've got now is a feature layer which is in, in an, on an offline laptop, um, tablet laptop. So we can now interact with these layers. We've actually generated these feature layers on top of that base map and we can interact with them. And as you can see, this is an, this is an edit panel as well. So we can actually go in, we can edit these features and we can store those edits in an offline mode. When we go online, we can then send a batch. We we can then batch up those those uh, edits and send them to the server. So here we've got an end-to-end -end solution for offline viewing of base maps and editing of features on a base map. Um, so this is actually an extension of our GeoMobile for ArcGIS uh, online application that we've launched. Um, if you've if you've if you've used the application, seen the application you've got a couple of widgets there and then we've ad we've added the ability with the the uh, a widget that talks about advanced functionality well these are two advanced functional pieces that we've added to the application now this won't be in the free application this is obviously uh, something that's going to be paid for but uh, we wanted just to see to, to allow you to see the flow since so many people approach us about how to do this um, this is a cross-platform solution which will run on Android and iOS on on um, any uh, BlackBerry device, um, it's targeted at tablets. But this will allow you to actually go offline, do any edits, view any base map uh, information um, when you're out of Wi-Fi range, and then when you come back on in range, you can update those edits uh, automatically or, or manually through a, a, a batch button. Um, thanks for watching.